Hey guys, what's up everybody? My name's Logan and I'm kind of sketchy. Let's start drawing, shall we? Now, in case you couldn't tell from my previous videos, I've had a long time fascination with things like fantasy art and the medieval world and also things like He-Man and things like that since I was a young kid. Um, it's been a part of my life for as long as I can remember, along with sci-fi. Spaceships and swords, I guess. I don't know. But a couple of years ago, I got into things like LARPing and also cosplay and SCA, and I did a little bit of armor stuff for a little bit. And I know that what I'm drawing now is not considered technically traditional style armor, but it's fantasy based, mind you. That's what this style, that's what this channel is. It's 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 all a fantasy, but you know it's my fantasy, and maybe it's your fantasy. I don't know, but it's fun, and it's fun to see. So. Please enjoy what you're watching, and uh, if you don't, I'm sorry. And um, if you do, please subscribe and like this video and share with your friends. And um, I hope you enjoy it, and I'll be back later. Now, I'm aware that the stylings of this particular knight do have similarities between Hero of the Great, but I'm not trying to reproduce Hero of the Great. I'm just going along with the color scheme and also the, the design elements um, of the uh, particular armor style. But, you know, it's maybe it's Big Hero the Great's big brother. I don't know. But uh, I know it's very similar. Um, so you'll have to excuse me for that. I mean, it doesn't have the Roman plumage on top, but it does have very similar elements, and that's just kind of what I was going for. And if you'll notice the chainmail effect that I'm going for, also, um, it's in smaller detail, but if you refer back to one of my other videos, which is I Draw Chainmail, um, you'll see a closer up detail of how to draw chainmail if you want to do it close up and, and detailed. But this is a quick way of drawing chainmail where it's small individual loops. Um, you've seen me do it on a few of my other pieces, and this is a style that I prefer whenever it's smaller, but it looks good like this. It's like the same sort of thing you would do for scales, dragon scales, fish scales, or even, you know, even um, leaves. I do the leaves the same way, so it's a fun little loop project that you can do to make your chainmail um, look authentic from farther away in a drawing. One quick note I do want to say to all the artists who are trying to be artists out there, like I am trying to be an artist myself, and that I've been drawing all my life, but you know, I don't consider myself, you know, a, a teacher. But um, one problem that I've seen is that artists always want to try to use the most expensive materials out there because they think that they're the best. As you see right now, I'm using. A micron pen but you don't have to I mean I use sharpie pens as you see in other videos uh, I have used sharpies fine tip narrow tip ultra fine tips I've even used big pens and other type of pens you know it really is what is really for what the look you're going for not so much the name brand I mean you can get all kinds of good pens and pencils I mean pencils don't have to be the, the high dollar in pencils, you know, uh, the the ones that you use for school, those those are just fine, fine by itself. The number two pencils and, an, and a, a regular eraser, you can draw with anything. I mean, you can draw with a crayon. 
You know, it doesn't really have to be Copics or, you know, those high dollar markers. You know, if it works for your art, then it works for your art. Please don't let the am amount of money that you don't have, you know, constrict what you want to do with your art. You can find good color or good quality black pen, a line pen, whatever. You know, you could draw in the sand. You don't have to stop just because you can't afford, you know, the Canson notepads or the, the Copic markers. You know, if you want to draw, draw and have fun. That's what it's about anyway. As you see here, I used a fat Sharpie that was pretty much almost out of ink to uh, do some area shading um, because it gives it a nice gray color, a uh, nice kind of dark, uh, light, light black color. And, and uh, I did the same thing on, if you notice on my train video, um, cause it, it gives it that nice muted black color that almost gives it depth, but doesn't quite go to the black, black, black of a, of a deep shadow, which it's also good for surface area. So just because your markers are running low, you can still get a little bit of use out of them. I mean, I, I won't use that for line work because it's, it's, it makes a real, a real fuzz line. But as far as a large shadow area, um, I think it works pretty good. And like I said before, I do use Sharpies. I do use Crayola markers. I do use, you know, whatever kind of color, whatever kind of pins I have. They don't have to be high quality to be the best. But, you know, they, they have good color. I like Sharpies for for the particular red I'm looking for. As you see in uh, my blood vein stuff, um, I like the, the redness of it. It's just nice red. You can't get that in the in the uh, Copic type markers and the uh, Touch New markers um, that I've seen. So I like the Sharpie for that. But other colors are good. I like the the Copic type markers because they are good to blend. They are nice to have. And I did happen to find uh, Touch New markers for I think it's eighty of them for twenty five dollars, which was really good. Um, and they work really well. I'm not going to buy myself Copic markers. Those are like $10 a box or for one. And I can't afford $10 or $5 for one marker. Um, you know, that's just not on my budget. But they do have knockoffs, which are pretty decent, if I do say so myself. I mean, some people don't like them, but some people don't like Copics. So, you know, use whatever markers you have. Use whatever colors you have. Crayola pencils. I have a whole box of pencils. I have a whole box of off-brand markers. I have crayons. You know, it's whatever you want to use, and it's whatever you can afford, and it's all good. Um, you know, try not to buy the... Sometimes you have to be careful. Some of them just don't have good quality, but, you know... You don't have to not draw because you can't find good markers. I don't have Copics, so I can't color. No, that's not true. 